بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سو لاسٹ بٹ ناٹ دا لیسٹ آئی تھنک دا اسٹیج از سیٹ اینڈ دیر آر کپل آف ان فیکٹ دیر نمبر آف تھنگس دیٹ ہیو آلریڈی بین مینشن سو آئی جسٹ بلڈ اپ آن دیٹ فرسٹ اینڈ دا فور موسٹ وین ایور وی ٹاک اباؤٹ فیوچر دیر آر چیلنجز بٹ ان ایوری چیلنج دیر از این اپرچونیٹی The second thing is that usually when we talk about future, so we believe that things are complex. But how can we make them simple? And I think the simplest thing is that yes, there are challenges. Yes, there are problems. Yes, there are a number of stakeholders who everyone has to play his or her role in order to work as a team so that we can achieve a common goal. But at the end of the day, it is one person that matters. And health is something that is the most important component because if we have a healthy society, then we will be able to have good outcomes not only for the nations but overall for for the world a lot has been said about technology a lot has been said about ai a lot has been said about i think you ashad mentioned about 5g about robotics and all that stuff the, so the same thing applies to healthcare as well but historically healthcare leaders healthcare professionals they are slow to adapt to technological advancements, especially how the care is being provided. But post-COVID era, I think the world has changed and people have realized that there are different ways and means of provide, to provide health care to the people. Now, there is more acceptability of telemedicine. There is more acceptability of AI. There is, people have been talking about robotics, so that is also there. With 5G coming in, remote surgeries will also, they come into play. So there are a number of things that are happening as, as far as the healthcare sector is concerned. But there's also another thing, that is genetic engineering. That is also something what is coming in. And with all these things, with technological advancements, there become challenges. And one of the major challenge that comes across is ethical considerations. Because when we talk about AI, when we talk about genetic engineering, there are ethical considerations that needs to be taken care of. So for a healthcare sector, it is extremely important that we do not miss this important component of ethical considerations when we are dealing with human life. When we are dealing with important issues like reproduction, we are dealing with important issues like how to change the genetics or how to deal with the genome of an individual. So the ethical considerations is an important thing that we all need to take into consideration whenever we are talking about healthcare. And be it technological advancements, be it ethical considerations, be it how we are going to make sure that we are providing safe, efficient, effective, evidence-based, patient-centered and timely and timely healthcare to our individuals. This is not possible unless they are backed by tight or good policy making and rules and regulations. So for us, it is an extremely important time whereby we need to work towards how we are going to deal with our policy making, how we are going to deal with the rules and regulations at the national level. And yes, there are, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, the wheel is already there, but yes, there are certain things that are peculiar to us. How we are going to deal with that? There are issues with access to healthcare. 
There are issues with how we are going to provide health care to those individuals that are, not, that are not there in the cities. Unfortunately, I want to stay positive, but we have challenges like we have one of the highest maternal mortalities in the world. Those women who come for labor, who come for delivery, unfortunately, they lose their lives. This is an easy fix that can be, that, that can be taken care of. Unfortunately, we have one of the highest infant mortalities in the world. So, what can we do? And those things are not quite complex. It is just like we have to deal individuals and we have to just keep that in mind that yes, we can talk about all the economic issues that we have. Yes, we have all these challenges all around us. But at the end of the day, these are the people who matter. These are the individuals who make the societies. These are the individuals who make nations. These are the people who get things done. So we need to take care of our people. We need to make sure that today there is an opportunity that we have young population. There is an opportunity in the West people are dealing with this challenge that they have aging population. We are fortunate to have young population. We just need to make sure that they stay healthy, that they remain healthy. And last but not the least, when I say or when we say that these are the people who get things done, healthcare is a human resource industry or a human resource intensive industry. When we say that it is a human resource intensive industry, it means that we need to have the right mix of healthcare providers that are there and we need to plan for it. We need to plan for it that it's not only about doctors, it's about nurses, it's about other healthcare professionals, it's about healthcare managers, it's about healthcare technicians, it's about healthcare policy makers. We need to have the right mix of individuals who can get things done for us and as a nation, as a country, we need to plan for it. That's all what I wanted to say. Thank you.